Next we're going to go over toolbars and how we access those various tools. Now you'll become more and more comfortable with Rhino the more you work with it and you'll come across various tools that will become your favorites or you seem to use them a lot more than anything else. So we'll start here over on the left and here's a couple of the main toolbars and then here you'll see a, a series of tools across the top as well. If you go up, uh, for example, here's some curves. If you go into these top drop-down menus, you'll also see curves and lines and circles and that sort of thing. Here's surface. These are the same tools right here. Solids, meshes, dimensions. A lot of these are housed in a couple of different places. If you just click on one of these tools, whichever one is exposed, so let's click on this circle click on it once, it's going to go into that mode. It wants to draw a circle now. So we're going to pick kind of a starting point and a radius and there we go. Now we're in perspective so it actually, there we go, it, it did make a, a circle but we're in uh, perspective mode so it uh, kind of looked like an ellipse there. Now the next thing if you click, left click and hold down a flyout will come out and there's a number of different ways that you can draw this circle. Now you can also click uh, up in the kind of title bar, drag it out and you now have this flyout that you can position anywhere so wherever you're modeling if you're using a lot of these it can be right near you and you can kind of go back and forth. Now these are resizable as well, these flyouts so uh, we can make it tall and skinny for example. Uh, these can also be locked out uh, over onto the the sides. See we put it up into the top bar there. Um, there's a number of different things that you can uh, do with these and places that you can uh, put them or stash them or whatever. Kind of what I find is those standard ones that I use almost all the time I'll right away I'll come over and I'll do a number of different pullouts. So I'll have them out ready to work with. Um, let me see, maybe sphere. But I'll grab them, drag them out, and now uh, I'm ready to work, ready to go. You'll notice some of these toolbars on the lower right hand corner there's kind of a white triangle and those are the ones that there are flyouts uh, that you can pick and grab out of there. Some of them that don't though, for example this text object, I'm clicking, I'm holding down right now, it won't do anything. Uh, they, it can only select uh, just that option, it doesn't have a flyout for it. But That's kind of a quick introduction to tools. Uh, my advice is uh, kind of play around with them, get comfortable with them. If you hover over the top, they'll tell you what they do, these different icons. And like I said, there'll be certain ones, boy, you just favor, and you're going to want to pull those out every time or save a template so they just load up every single time that you use Rhino.